If you drove by the Minot Auditorium today and wondered to yourself, what are all those cars doing there? Well, you came to the right place because we've got your answer. Region 6 Volleyball Tournament started today. We had nearly seven hours of games. First quarterfinal of the night session, defending champs Our Redeemers versus Newburgh West Hope. First set, Knights wearing black. Ali Francis sets across the court, goes to Maya Vibeto. How do you defend this? Maya could probably jump over me, even if I'm standing on top of Joe's shoulders. Newberg, the heavy underdogs, kept these sets close. Not many expected that. Marley Henry for Addie Mock, five-point lead for ORCS in the set. Just after that play, Ali Francis for Michaela Altringer down Broadway, and Newberg calls timeout. Eagles coach Lauren Cunningham, she played for Karanunziato at ORCS, so you know this game means a whole lot. Knights come up on set point first. Francis, this time for Leah Lindquist. Redeemers sweeps, but hey, this match was a whole lot closer than the score makes it look. We came into that game knowing that they were going to be a tough team to beat. We've never watched them play, so we didn't really know what to expect, and we just knew we had to come out and play our best. I mean, I'm happy that we came out the win, but they really put up a fight, and we know that our next two games are going to be... Hard. Hopefully we make it to the championship. Knights have been to the region's semifinals every year at least since 2014. They've only missed one title game in that span. Last game of the night, Velva versus DLB. The Aggies beat the Lakers in five sets just a couple weeks ago. First set, Velva took the lead to start. DLB takes over when Paige Berard sets for Ava Brown. Lead was pretty short-lived, though. Aggies go on a run. Lauren Chadwick sets up Haley Kwame. This kill gives Velva a three-point lead. Later in the set, we are tied at 21 points. DLB libero Cami Benno has to dive to get this return on a serve. Well, Keely Caldwell has to hit the ground, too. Taryn Broughton for Anya Olsen. Stone-cold kill. Lakers came up on set point first, though, and Ava Feist gets the honors. Cues up an ace. The Lakers avenge that late season loss and move on to the semifinals. Botno really holding down the fort for District 11. The only team not from the Minot District to advance. Botno versus South Prairie Max. A whole lot of height in that matchup. Then we should have a packed auditorium for ORCS DLB as a nightcap. Region 8 playing at Williston State. Top seed Trenton versus Stanley. Trenton in blue, as is Stanley, but Trenton also has yellow. Good volley. Tigers set up Christy Cryall for the point. Senior Jada Turcott serving. Senior is one of four seniors on the Trenton team. Hits one the Blue Jays. Can't return. Tigers just rolling through the first set right now. Watch junior Carly Houle pounds a winner. Man, these two played in the regular season. Trenton won that match three sets to one. Well, here come the Blue Jays. Bethany and Ander, a senior, makes a great play, and the Jays start to hang in a little bit. Then senior Cora Bell, she serves a low-line drive. Tigers can't dig it out. Well, this comeback ends early. Tigers were just too strong. They take the match. Next quarterfinal game is the Alexander Comets and the three-time reigning region champs Kenmare. Good volley. Honkers Taya Offerth with a quick little putback. Putbacks in volleyball and basketball, too. But Alexander hanging with those District 16 champs. Laney Powell pounds home a winner. Hey, she's only a sophomore, and Alexander really had to rely on their very strong young core for contributions tonight. Young core, then eighth grader Trinity Hernandez makes a big-time play for the Comets, center of Kenmare's side, but these honkers are just too strong. Carson Lautenschlager nails one Alexander can't get. Kenmare Bobel sweeps, and we will see them in the semis tomorrow. That sets up your day two in Williston. It's Trenton versus Tioga and Kenmare versus Ray. Again, Honkers looking to defend their three-peat region title.